Anna's with us in Washington, D.C. Hi, Anna. How are you? Hi, Dave. I'm doing well. Thank you for taking my question. Sure. Um, so in 2006, my husband and I purchased our first home. In 2008, the market crashed and slashed the value of our house. Now, three years ago, our family grew, and we bought a new home with a 20% down. It's been 12 years now, and our first home is still not worth what we bought it for. And we Wait bought a minute. It Wait a minute. That, that's not economic. There's something else going on. I Very know. few places it's, in the United States have not recovered after 12 years. Would you buy I, in a bad I neighborhood agree. or what? I I don't understand it either because we live in Northern Virginia, which is like very close to Washington D.C. And right now it's worth two hundred and ninety-five k, and we bought it at, um, according to my realtor, and we bought the house at three hundred and fifty k. A recent comparative market analysis by a quality real estate agent says this house is worth three hundred grand. Okay. Is that what you're telling but, me? Yes. So you must have done the so world's like, worst real estate deal. I I did. Well, like it, like we said, like I we bought the house in 2006. Yeah. What do you owe on it? 2008. I'm sorry. Say that again. What do you owe on it? Um. Right now we owe about 60k on it. Oh, sell it. It's you, crap. You think we should sell it? It's crap. It's the world's worst house. Well, the, here's the thing. We here's the thing. We, in 12 years, it sucks. So you don't think we should wait for it? We, we you want to wait 12 more years it? for it to suck more? 12 three years? All right. Do you? Thank you. That's actually, that I mean, was actually my question because right now we're at baby, num- baby step number six. Here's the thing. And if we, I gave you $300,000 mm-hmm. in cash, would you go buy the house next door? No. Why? Because it sucks. This neighborhood is not appreciating. For some reason or another, it's the world's worst rate of return. Meanwhile, the rest of the nation dipped way down and is up 20%. I I I agree with you. I, this is why I'm calling you, because I'm trying to decide if we should continue to rent this out. No. And wait until, okay. No, it's a bad right. investment. It's a bad neighborhood. I don't know what's wrong here. But I, I mean, a, th- a house you paid three hundred fifty thousand dollars for in two thousand freaking six before the crash, yeah. it goes down and it's not even recovered back to three fifty. I mean, that's a very unusual real estate market, unusually bad, and I don't want to invest in it going forward. And so I wouldn't keep it going forward. Take your take your loss and get out. You bought in a really bad place for some reason. I don't know what's wrong, but that's the worst numbers I've heard, and I don't know when. I mean, everywhere else just about has recovered. Florida went down. Phoenix went down. Freaking Las Vegas crashed and has recovered. You know, I mean, but there's some, you know, there's some parts of Detroit that haven't, but those are economic pockets. It's not an overall national economy thing. And so you don't buy in bad economic pockets. Yeah, and you don't keep in bad economic pockets. And so out of there. I'm out of there if I'm you. I'm out of there. Done. Quickly. Done. Yes, thanks for the call. Appreciate you joining us. Sucks. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, click the subscribe button to get the latest content and check out these other great clips from the show.